Welcome to Coastal Cooking with your host, Carmela Campbell. Coastal Cooking is celebrating our 20th anniversary of bringing you the Gulf Coast's finest chefs cooking their delicious recipes with natural gas. This show is brought to you by Pensacola Energy. Clean, efficient, natural gas. And now, Coastal Cooking. From the Pensacola Beach Hilton's H2O restaurant, my guest today is Executive Chef Dan Dunn. Morning. <laughs> Morning, and it's always so good to have you with us. Oh, it's awesome always to come over here and help out. Yeah. And do a little filming. We've got a special show today, and uh, it's all about... Lionfish. Lionfish. This is the this new buzzword, isn't it? Oh, no, it is the new buzzword. <laughs> uh, we're trying to kill them. I mean, we're trying to just get them off the reef, and you know, they're they're way down there on the reefs, mm -hmm. and uh, you have to go down there with a spear and spear them. They don't eat, you know, you can't mm -hmm. fish for them. That's the only way you can fish for them. So, you know, that jacks up the price a little bit. Yeah. But um, we got to, you know, they're eating all the little baby mingo snappers, uh, baby scamps. They're even known uh -huh. to eat little baby lobsters. You don't want so any of that. So they're a predator. They're a huge predator. Okay. But they're delicious. They're mm -hmm. so delicious. So you're going to see more and more of these on restaurant menus? Yes. Oh, yeah. We're trying to get it on our menu right now. We do it on for specials right now. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're just trying to get the word out and a market for them. Because, I mean, once they start selling, I mean, they're just delicious. They're like little baby snappers. I mean, oh, it's just, cool. the texture is incredible. And Good. The, the main thing, though, is... Uh, See those spines right there? Those are mm -hmm. all poisonous. And there's, I think, like 19 on the top, two, four on the sides, and then a couple in the back. So you kind of know what, you need to know what you're doing when you're playing right. with these little guys. Right. But what we're going to do right here is we're going to score them. They're beautiful fish, uh, they, aren't they? Yeah, I hate to say that, but yeah, they are. But you definitely don't want them knocking out the whole species of mingo snappers no, or anything like that. So we're gonna do two of them. And we're gonna fry them. This is just a little seasoned cornstarch. Mm -hmm. Cornstarch instead of flour? Uh, yeah, just I like the crispness, the texture. Okay. You got some hot oil there. Oh yeah. And do one more. So you're, leave, you, you're leaving those little poisonous Spines? Spines, oh yeah. Once they hit the, uh, the oil, mm -hmm. they go away. The poison goes away. But right here, I've already trimmed this one. See, there's mm -hmm. no top spines. Okay, so but you don't want to eat those, right? No, no, you don't okay. want to eat the spines. But they, it's a cool presentation mm -hmm. when they're all fried up. Okay. We just did this, uh, it was a linefish rodeo down uh, the end of Palafox. Yeah. And they fished for them, and we did a bunch of cooking uh, demos just to let everybody see it, you know, mm -hmm. how and it taste tastes. Them? And, uh, well, what was the reaction? Oh, everybody loved it, shoot. Okay. The reaction was a line all the way around the corner all day long on Saturday and Sunday. It was amazing how many people yeah. came out to test them. Well, you know, it's nice that they did get to taste them because now when they see them in the fish market, or Oh yeah, I mean, you'd be surprised how good they are. I mean, yeah. they're just tasty, very good. But during the demo, we did, uh, all the chefs did two different ways of preparing them. And then we had uh, Nate Holler and Jim Holler in the doghouse. They uh, fried some up for everybody. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of pounds. It was, oh, it was a great that. day. I mean, you know, yeah. great awareness. Good. That's good. All right, so we got these little guys cooking. I'm glad so many chefs come together for that, different events like that. Uh, we have a know, great chef community in Pensacola. Do. I mean, you do. some of them are my best friends. I mean, mm -hmm. they're great guys. Mm -hmm. And we've known one another. I mean, some of those guys I've known for 30 years or 25 years. That's yeah. a long time. Well, the celebrity chefs, you all still do events? Oh, yeah. Charitable oh, events? Yeah. And they were all there for uh, the roundup. Okay. And you also still go to the James Beard House. Are you going again this year? I think we are. That's uh, good. This makes how many years, Dan? This will make, I think, five. But you've been invited back. Yeah. That's an honor. We are very proud of you, five. Well, it's great promoting this area. Mm-hmm. Even though the traffic's a little bad. <laughs> we won't talk about traffic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It can be a good thing and a bad thing, you know? So you're waiting for these to brown? Yeah, I'm right? just... Uh, I'm just frying it up. Is this usually 
That's as big as they usually are. Yeah, they get a little bigger than that. I mean, yeah. it gives you a nice little fillet. Uh, I mean, it's a tiny little fillet, but. And it tastes like a typical white fish? Yeah. It's not Delicious. real strong? No, not at all. I mean, that's a nice little fillet. Uh-huh. Makes good little line fish nuggets. Oh, I bet. Oh, uh, I brought it up in a little corn flour. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. I mean, two of those, that's, you know. Mm -hmm. That'll work. All right, we're going to flip these guys. Yeah, I like leaving the spines on there because it does that little presentation right there. That is, that does look nice, Dan. I mean, they look really good whole. Uh-huh. We've done this special at the restaurant uh, a couple of times and mm -hmm. sell out every time. Right. Now, you said that they're hard They're hard to get? They're hard to get. I mean, like so, I said, I mean, you got to put a scuba tank on and jump in the water, dive down, and then mm -hmm. they're around the reefs, and you just got to, you got to spear them. Mm -hmm. They're not really, you know... They don't really have any predators. I think big groupers eat them, but uh, that's yeah. about it. Yeah. So we're just, we got to get everybody, you know, in the on, eating line fish. On board, On right? board for sure, yeah. I mean, well, I think they complete, will. Yeah. I think once you taste it and you see it on the menu, you're more likely to order it again. All right, so we got this going. Mm -hmm. We can get, uh, I've got a little pickled veg here. I love your pickled vegetables. Oh, uh, me too. So good. And I got a little bit of... Uh, this is a little cucumber out of the garden this morning. I did a little... Uh, the community garden. Uh, oh, yeah. It's awesome. Uh, it's right there in front of the police station mm -hmm. underneath the overpass. Mm -hmm. It's I forget. It's like 30 raised beds that going on That's right there. Uh, we have a, a master gardener, Kat McCreary. Mm -hmm. She's doing all the... Uh, Teaching us and teaching yeah. the community and everything. Uh, it's beautiful and it's going off right now. I mean, everything's in bloom. There's little <laughs> baby tomatoes, killer little cucumbers. Now, who can use the community garden? The community. I mean, you can go down there. You got to put in some sweat. You equity, have right? to put in a little, get your hands dirty a little bit. But yeah. when you do that, you know, they, uh, you get produce from it. You know, you just got, you know, we just trying That's to get the community fair. involved. Oh sure. yeah. Oh yeah. And um, we'll be doing fundraisers for certain events down there. I'm gonna, there's a, we're going to be doing a dinner there, set up a big old long table, and we'll be cooking stuff out of the garden. Oh, we've had fun. lunches down there before, and we've used, like, we cook all over the place for all sorts of uh, events. Uh, I did an autism uh, dinner the other night for 300 people, and I had all the marigolds uh, picked out of the garden, and then a bunch of greens that mm -hmm. I put into my salad. Oh, it was so pretty. And it you know, there are awesome. so many edible flowers. I don't uh, know if there's tons. a lot, but anyway, they're really not bad. Oh no, they're delicious. You know, and they're you, beautiful um, too. I got they a couple are. right there. They really are. But sometimes if you see a flower on your plate, that does mean it's edible. Oh yeah, okay. unless somebody's crazy and gonna feed you something not good. But no, yeah, all flowers are edible. Yeah, most of the time you'll see them on there. Yeah. All right. Oh, that looks, it smells so wonderful, oh, it too. Does. All right, we're real close right there. Okay. You know, we mentioned the celebrity chefs. We didn't tell our viewers who, who they are here in Pensacola. Besides yourself. Me, yeah. Okay. I'm one of them. There's Gus Syllabus yes. from Nancy's Hot Affairs. Yes. There's the, um, Jim Shirley. Jim Shirley from the Fish House. Uh, yeah, and the Bay. And yeah, the Bay. And Destin. Yeah, and, Bay and yeah. Destin. And then there's Frank Taylor from, from Global. Global Grill. And then Irv Miller. And Irv Miller from Jackson. Jackson. You all are a close-knit group, aren't you? We are. And, I mean, like I said, we're pretty much best friends. So yeah. it's, it's really cool to hang out with everybody. Yeah. And it's great to do events. And we have a great time, especially when well, we go to New York. Yeah. And you have to get along if you're going to share a kitchen. And oh, it's usually yeah. tight quarters, isn't it? Well, yeah. There's always a little, I don't know. Power struggle with some chefs, but we all get along great. That's what that's what's important. Look at this dish coming together. Oh yeah. What type of rice is this? Uh, jasmine. Jasmine rice. My favorite. 
It's kind of got a little oriental flavor to it, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to get a little hoist in right here. Got a little fresh ginger, some garlic. And this cilantro. will be the topping? Yes. Okay. This is one aromatic dish. Oh, you know, yeah. It smells so good. All the herbs and the vegetables coming together. That looks great. You know what? We need to take a commercial break right here. But we'll have this ready when we come back? Yes. All right. We'll be right back after this. Heat pumps don't pump much heat. In fact, heat from an efficient natural gas heater can be 30% warmer. And you can get up to an $800 rebate when you install one. Warming up to natural gas yet? Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. Did you know that BTU for BTU natural gas can be up to 50% cheaper than electricity? And did you know Pensacola Energy is offering rebates up to $1,000 when you switch from an electric water heater to natural gas? In the end, it's your money. You can put it in your pocket, or you can watch it go down the drain. Contact Pensacola Energy to learn how you can start saving now. Heating water with electricity versus natural gas can cost twice as much, and tankless natural gas water heaters can add even more savings. So don't get soaked with higher energy costs. Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. Dan, the lionfish look great. Oh, yeah, it does. Brown to perfection. <gasps> look at this presentation. So you going to sit there? Hopefully. <laughs> Good lionfish. Come on now. Even if he lays down, he's still going to be look nice. And I see why you left the little spines on, because it really does look nice in the presentation, oh, yeah, it doesn't does. it? We have a little hoist in here mm -hmm. that we beefed up with a little uh, ginger, oh. lemongrass, garlic, cilantro. It's just going to set this off, isn't it? Oh, yeah. wow. So this is typically what some of your uh, guests will find on your menu, right? Pretty much. Coming up? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Awesome. Our first lionfish dish from H2O. What's the next one? All right. We are going with, uh, we're going to fry some of the little cornmeal and some flour and some salt and pepper. Okay. Like little nuggets. Oh, okay. Now, would this be an appetizer or yeah. would it be an oh, entree? Yes. Appetizer? Yeah, we've done this before too. The rest okay. Of it. Serve it with a little cocktail sauce. Mmm. So good. Just trying to show the diversity of the fish, the fillet. I mean, there's so many different things you can do with mm -hmm. it. And even you can you do know. it raw too. I mean, it's great in sushi. Yeah. Dots done. I think herbs done it a couple times. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and folks shouldn't be intimidated by it at home. Uh, you know, anybody could do this oh, yeah. and enjoy it when it uh, comes available. Now, these won't take any time, will they? No, they shouldn't. Just got to have that hot oil. So how long will you, do you think these will take? Uh, probably about five minutes. minutes. Okay. Not long. Perfect. All right, we're going to get a little cocktail sauce going. Mm -hmm. Bar spoon. And you've got? A little horseradish. Oh, okay. A little? Yeah, a little. <laughs> a little lemon. So horseradish to taste, right? Oh, yeah. A little salt and pepper. What was your base? Uh, just uh, ketchup. Ketchup, okay. I just want to make sure it wasn't another concoction. There. No, no. The Worcestershire and, and a little Tabasco. Tabasco. Mix it up. Mm -hmm. That's ready to go. Real simple. You know what? 
So many sausages would be good with this. Remoulade, oh, tartar yeah. sauce. I mean, you could do a killer po' boy with that. Yes, you could. I mean, it'd be awesome. Yes. It'd be great. Taco, fish taco. Yeah, I oh, almost did a fish taco. Mm-hmm. Is that on your menu? Uh, we tacos? have fish tacos, yeah. We do it with mahi. We need to talk about H2O. My goodness, your <laughs> restaurant. I know now it's crazy. Oh, you know, it is. Being, Summer's here. Yes. Um, but you keep it going, Dan. It's absolutely amazing. Not only that, but all of your catered events, your weddings. Uh, we do tons of weddings, uh, tons of conferences. You told me everything. this past Saturday you had three weddings. I had three weddings going on. At and, the same time. Yes. And you catered all of them. Oh, yeah. One was at the Holiday Inn, and one was at the Hampton. And, of course, we had a big one at the, uh, at the Hilton. And uh, we do all the food and beverage for both for the food for both mm -hmm. all, th two par Amazing. all three properties. Amazing. Yeah, sometimes it does get a little nuts, but it's fun. I mean. <laughs> well, you wouldn't, you wouldn't do it if you didn't enjoy it, right? Oh, yeah. So now we're just draining them, oh, right, yeah. on paper towels? That's it. Type of oil do oh, you use, yeah. Dan? What now? What type of oil are you Canola. Using? Canola. Oh, those look so good. Yeah, look how, how white yes. that is. And They're you don't meaty. Like the hot stuff, They're meaty, aren't they? They're super hot. <laughs> we good? Ooh. All right. I'll, I'm definitely going to try it. Mm, mm, mm. These would make perfect little past hors d'oeuvres, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah. Mm. <coughs> oh, <wow>. Hot. <coughs> you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm, I guess chefs like to burn themselves. All right. So we let those drain. Those are good. Mm -hmm. Got that little cocktail sauce. Lemon. Got a little lemon here. Garnish right here. That's out of the garden. Edible. Oh, yes. Okay. And then we'll throw a little lionfish nuggets. Oh, that's oh good. nice. Look at that. I love that. That is great. We need to tell everyone where you're located. You know, we've been talking about your restaurant. And Penn School of Each Hilton. That's right. Right, right there. Right on the Gulf. Beautiful. Right on the Gulf uh, and right in the center of Pensacola Beach. We work and live uh, where everybody comes and vacates. We do. And, and I mean. We do. Paradise. Uh, oh, it really is. Um, I'm so lucky to be able to, I've, I've worked at the Hilton for almost, I think, eight years now, mm -hmm. going on at nine. And um, I've gotten into, uh, Taking pictures every morning. Your photography. Yeah, it's I've been seen some yeah, of them. Yeah, they are beautiful. Oh, they really are. I, I enjoy doing it. And they're sunrise. But they're all pictures, sunrise. They? It's pretty much all sunrise. Mm -hmm. uh, real low to the uh, the water's edge, where the water touches the sand. Mm -hmm. Really cool. And I mean, yeah. I've been selling a bunch of them and having Great. a good time with it. Yeah. Well, if somebody wants any, they just go to your website. Sure. Or your I don't have a website Facebook? yet, but they can Facebook. I'm all over Facebook. Okay. Social okay. media. Yes. Love it. Yes. Um, but you come see me at the Hilton. I'm always there. Okay. And that's your downtime, isn't it? Probably early in the morning when you can uh, yeah. just be by sure. yourself. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. I love take it. Take in nature and the beauty. and. Very nice. For uh, photograph it so that everyone else can enjoy it. All right. Is this too yeah. hot for you, Dave? So. All right. We're going to take a commercial break here. What's our third dish? Oh, it's going to be uh, sauteed uh Sauteed lionfish with some uh, greens out of the garden and a little okay. bit of feta and tomatoes. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, All right, be we'll awesome. be right back after this with that dish. Natural gas dryers may cost a little more than electric ones, but they dry clothes quicker, making them cost half as much to run. So now who's getting taken to the cleaners? Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. You have a choice. Energy that comes from burning dirty coal or energy from a clean natural source. Pensacola Energy Natural Gas. You have a choice. A bulky electric hot water heater that runs out of hot water or a sleek tankless water heater that gives you hot water for as long as you need it. 
Choose a natural gas tankless water heater and get up to $1,000 in rebates from Pensacola Energy. To learn more, call Pensacola Energy today. What's our last line fish dish, Ben? Uh, it's going to be uh, just sauteed line fish mm -hmm. and a little flour. And then I'm going to saute some greens that I got out of the garden this morning. Mm -hmm. And then top it with a little uh, feta cheese. Everybody loves oh. feta. And then uh, a little tomatoes. We do, we've always done a dish called, a, it's well, snapper feta, but I turned, mm -hmm. we did it in the grouper feta. So it's just a, a play off that. Okay. You're using such um, fresh ingredients. Oh, it's what it's all about. You know, fresh yeah. fish, yeah. And then awesome greens, and we got the flowers. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you that community garden right now is just going Exploding, off. Huh? It really is. I drove by this morning, and, did a little raid on it so I can get some stuff for this. And it's, it's so nice to have that thing. It's just I bet. beautiful. You have to drop by and check it out. Look at that. Well, tell oh, everyone where it's located. Uh, it's uh, south of the police station, right mm -hmm. there underneath the overpass. Uh -huh. There used to be some old, older raised beds there. And we um, came in and uh, uh, redid them, put uh, this wonderful soil down. And just, mm -hmm. I mean, it's an incredible garden. Want to be careful when you're flaying these guys. You definitely don't want those little things Pin to bones, poke Pin bones, yeah. And the, yeah, and the spines. Got a little... This fish is really good. <laughs> it's delicious, I told you. Yeah. It's going to be good this way, too. All right. So, Dan, do you have someone deliver this to you? I mean, I know it. Um, it's, that's the issue. I mean, the person that delivers is the guy that's at the end of the spear. Okay. So, you know, and they have a license. And I think we it's have going a, to become read, more readily available, don't you? Oh, it, it is. Everyone, I mean, that's what everybody needs to be aware of. Just to pay attention when you, right. you know, see it in your local fish market. Mm -hmm. But like I said, you know, it's going to be a little, there's going to be a little price to it because it's not easy to go get. Right. I mean, right. It's, you mm -hmm. have to put a little effort into it for sure. All right. So we're going to get this going. And this is going to be sauteed. Yes. Okay. And just a little seasoned flour. This is going to be a pretty little summer dish for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to let this get hot. We're going to change cotton boards. Tell me about this fundraiser you have coming. Oh, we got an uh, awesome, uh, we're, um, got a bunch of friends that uh, started this uh, company called Fish Fry Magazine. And it's all, it's- Fish Fry Magazine. Fish Fry Magazine. Okay. And uh, it's all, it's, it's really about our lifestyle. You know, it's mm -hmm. like living on the beach, uh, you know, people will go hunting, fishing, and they're just trying to, they're just trying to help everybody out right mm -hmm. now. So uh, we're doing this, uh, uh, it's gonna be a fundraiser for the Wildlife Sanctuary. And we do a, a bunch of events at the brewery. Oh, cool. And uh, like during the uh, art festival, mm -hmm. we, for the last two years, uh, we've uh, made food down there. Like I did, I think tacos one year, and mm -hmm. then we did soup. And it was for a donation for the Wildlife Sanctuary. And we raised like oh, nice. 1,800 bucks one time, and then almost Good. 2,000 the next time. So, I mean, you got a, the wildlife sanctuary, they do a great job down there taking care of the animals, and they always need help and support and sure. items and mm -hmm. money. I mean, you got to feed the critters. And uh, so, it's going to be a, probably a Sunday afternoon, and um, it'll part, we'll probably do free hot dogs for everybody. And Dorothy and Cheryl, they always bring down um, owls and little ant or owls, I think a, a hawk. And so the kids and everybody yeah. can see it because it's killer to see them. I mean, it's really cool. And where cool. will this be? This will be at uh, Pensacola Bay Brewery. Okay. Perfect. All right. So got a little, our little fillets here. <laughs> we're just gonna saute that. I'm gonna make a little. Uh, oh, this is a little basil, basil out of the garden. Mm -hmm. No tomatoes yet, so these are little organic tomatoes. Mm -hmm. They make a pretty presentation. Oh, they do. They? They're tasty too. Mm -hmm. 
What's one of your most popular dishes at H2O? Um, Does it depend on the season? Well, yeah, we do a lot of specials. We're local seafood, of course, and then we have groupers, on, a grouper on the menu. Mm -hmm. uh, steak Nano, steak I've Nano. had Steak Nano. That's your signature dish, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> it's a filet with a tempura fried uh, lobster tail. Oh, wow. But it know. changes all the time. We, yeah. you know, we like to change it up. Yeah. You know what? While this finishes up, I'm going to give everyone our telephone number. Right. If you would like written copies of today's recipes, you can call Pensacola Energy at 436-5050 or visit our website at www.coastalcooking.com. All right. So we're going to finish with a little tomatoes, a little bit more gar or feta. we got that fresh basil on there. We're going to put it in the oven for just, say, two minutes, just so the cheese is melted a little mm -hmm. bit. At uh, 350. Okay. Perfect. And that's it. And then we're going to get this going. Spinach? Yeah, I've got some awesome spinach mm -hmm. from the garden. A little spinach here. Some... How do you like Palafox Market? Oh, uh, awesome. We Isn't just, it nice? It's very nice. Saturday mornings, my goodness. We just did an event there the other day. Very uh, it popular. was their eight year, or I think it was eight years. Of, Has it been eight? I think so. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize that. Oh, it was awesome. Uh, Daniel Watts from the Wine Bar, mm -hmm. uh, Irv Miller from Jackson's. They all did demos one early morning during the Saturday market, and it was killer. I got to take off work. I was all excited. <laughs> And do what you love again, Oh, right? I love cooking, that's for sure. <laughs> so these just need to saute down? And yep. that's gonna be the base of our dish? That's it, just a little bit of a, uh, wilt them a little bit. Mm. That looks like fresh picked yeah, That's spinach. a little Swiss chard right there. Uh -huh. There's some spinach in there and then some really nice sorrel. Stuff is just beautiful. So you've got three different greens. Oh yeah. That's nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And then we got these awesome flowers, little marigolds <gasps> right there. Look at the color. It's going to be pretty. Let's see how our fillets are doing. Perfect. So you just really wanted that feta cheese to melt, didn't you? Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, I've got quite an array today, don't yeah. I? Yeah. All line fish. Beautiful dishes from H2O. Executive Chef Dan Dunn. Wonderful Thank you. and very well done. Yeah, and like we uh, hope to see these on your menu soon? Yes. And I'm trying to get as much line fish as I can get. I mean, I'm all about helping get rid of these little guys. Get some guys. in September so you can do it at the Seafood Festival. Oh, I will. I would okay. love to. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Perfect. We'll promote it again there. All right, cool. Well, thank you again for thank being you. my guest. This was wonderful. Awesome. Thank hope you. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah. All right, and we hope to see you again soon for more Coastal Cooking. This has been Coastal Cooking with your host, Carmela Campbell. Coastal Cooking is brought to you by Pensacola Energy, clean, efficient, natural gas. Join us each Sunday at 6 p.m. for more Coastal Cooking.